Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. Welcome to Savik TV, your home of infotainment. Man, it has been a while, but right here, man, we are here. We want to plug you with the latest. So, uh, in this video, it's, it's a pretty short video, so I want to inform you that first, so that you watch the video to the very, very end ladies and gentlemen so now um manager people <laughs> i did talk about you in this video i'm gonna talk about nigerians man so uh some of you may be aware if you've checked out if you've been checking out my vlogs uh i did stay in nigeria for quite a while um at least nine months probably it was more than that but i did stay there for a while that is uh, last year so i have uh, quite a number of things that i learned there that i like to you know break down for you guys so uh in this video we're actually gonna analyze uh 10 15 okay let's see 10 i'm gonna talk about 10 facts <laughs> that i learned about nigeria so there are more uh, maybe i might give i might end up giving a bonus of a few but you know yeah we'll start with 10 right so 10 facts about nigeria <laughs> that is what we're gonna discuss so stay tuned watch this video to the very end and let's learn about the facts that Savik learned in Nigeria. <laughs> they call it Niger. So my Niger brothers, I did talk about you, Omo. Just relax. Enjoy. No vex, no vex, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's kick off. Fact number one. Let's go. Yo, fact number one. So Nigerians celebrate a lot. They love having fun. They love festivals. And you know, when it comes to festivities, the number one festival is uh, the Daba festival. This is normally celebrated in... Uh, northern nigeria so it's a very vibrant and colorful cultural event that is celebrated uh primarily in uh northern nigeria but not just northern nigeria because it's also extends all the way to Kwara state jaws which don't really form part of uh, northern nigeria but uh it extends to muslim states uh, basically um you know Kano, Katsina, Azari, Ilorin and all that. So it's uh, normally observed at the culmination of Muslim festivities, be it uh, Idul Adha, Idul Fitri and you know basically to mark the end of Ramadan in uh, Hajj. Uh, you get that uh, this festival tends to showcase a spectacular display of uh, horsemanship, you know, they ride a lot of horses here and there, uh, traditional attires, music, dance, pageantry, offering captivating glimpses into the rich cultural um, <coughs> You know heritage in the region uh, because it tends to show a lot about you know the houses and uh, the fulani so you'll get to see their kings you know you'll see the emirs and all that i mean there's a lot to be displayed music traditional attire dance ceremonial processions cultural significance i mean a lot happens so let's have a look at some of these uh festivities i mean how this festival uh the the the, the buff festival tends to go down so that is fact number one they go big in celebration when it comes to celebrating festivals and one of the festivals where they go big is the Daba festival after that we come back for fact number two remember we are sharing 10 facts so let's go <laughs> Yo, fact number two. You get that Nigerians are very religious people. Did I say religious? <laughs> oh yes, I did. Uh, religion is uh, actually very diverse and it plays a significant role in the social, cultural and political landscape of Nigeria. Whereby you get that this uh, country actually practices um, Islam, Christianity and uh, you know a number of other indigenous African religions. So uh, you may wonder, uh, which particular religion uh, you know, has like uh, more people than the other? 
ranging from uh, Christianity, Islam, and you know the indigenous. So you actually get that Islam is one of the major religions in Nigeria, which is very very prominent, especially in the northern part. That's why we've seen even uh, when you get to look at uh, the Deba festival, it's normally celebrated in the northern side because uh, there are a lot of uh, you know Muslim uh, Muslims right there because of the influence they got from the Islamic scholars, especially uh, around Sokoto. You know. That is the Fulanis, the Hausas, they tend to be more of a uh, Muslim. So the northern side. When we look at the southern side, you get that Christianity is actually very dominant there. So Christianity tends to be very significant in the southern and central regions of the country. Uh, you know, we've... Uh, Catholics, Protestants, Pentecostals, and all that. And then, of course, there are areas uh, where people still practice, um, you know, the indigenous religion. So, get that before the arrival of Islam and Christianity, there was st indigenous African religions were being practiced in Nigeria. So, it's still being practiced. But still, you get that some people are still they're Muslims, yes, they are Christians, yes, but still to some extent they tend to practice, you know, the indigenous religion. So, Nigerians tend to be very, very religious people, and uh, it's this religion or religious diversity that has actually contributed to harmony and tension within the country in equal measure because sometimes they vote around um you know your religious uh, i mean religious guidelines tend to get them as they vote so sometimes you get that it's muslim president muslim deputy president or vice president and such like so it tends to affect how the country is run so that is fact number two and let's go to fact number three did you actually know that nigeria is the giant of africa oh yes i guess you know that right now so basically nigeria is um one of the countries uh with the highest populations in the in the world so that makes it the giant of africa because um Nigeria has the highest population in Africa at the moment as we speak. So maybe you may be wondering, so how what is the current population of Nigeria? It's actually above 210 million people. That is uh, as much as Google can go. That is the data. That is in 2020 2022 january so by now so in 2024 january we should be upwards of 220 million people in nigeria so it's the most populous country in africa um and of course the seventh most populous country in the world of course after the likes of india china and all that there have uh way over a billion people right now so when it comes to africa nigeria actually has the highest population that is over almost 220 million people Again, this same Nigeria actually has um, the highest uh, population growth rate. So right now we're looking at projections of uh, maybe 10 more million people in the coming year. So probably these countries likely to even hit 250 million people very, very soon because of their high population growth rate. So that is fact number three. This is the giant of uh, Africa. And then, of course, we all know where does the richest man in Africa come from? Where does the richest man in Africa come from? I mean, the richest man in Africa comes from Nigeria. That is Aliko Dangote. You know, we call it Dangote from our end here in Kenya, but they pronounce it differently. So they always say Dangote. So, <laughs> man, uh, Aliko Dangote is uh, a man born in Kano State. <laughs> that is a house land. Eh? He, was, he was born in Kano State and uh, he's... Uh, I was born 1957 and this guy man this guy is rich <laughs> this guy is rich you know he controls a multi-billion conglomerate you know with interest in various sectors from the cement uh, production sugar refining flour milling i mean you'll see dangote industries everywhere he <laughs> move even dangote salt i was actually shocked to see that so uh, this entrepreneur actually has a lot has a lot you know so uh, he's the richest man in africa and he's from nigeria so that is another fact about nigeria because we're sharing 10 facts so that is fact number four um maybe fact number five uh is about culture <coughs> sorry about that so uh you you realize that uh, nigeria has a lot of it's rich in culture basically very very rich in culture because uh we've um 
so many tribes let's say like 500 tribes but uh, the three most prominent tribes of course that is the Yoruba the Igbo and uh, of course the Hausa among others now yeah so um looking at this um looking at these uh three main tribes you realize that they are very rich in their own cultures that it even tends to attract tourists you know the 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 the, the, the culture in terms of how they dress in terms of the kind of meals they share in terms of you know how they celebrate their events be it weddings a yoruba wedding is not the same as a an Igbo wedding you know they'll always be very very different so and nigeria actually boasts of very very uh you know rich culture because of the difference or the diverse ethnic groups that are there uh, so from language dressing food i mean a lot of a lot of a lot of things so uh yeah i think there's fact number five about nigeria man you get that uh, the language is different there's a different a lot of art and craft that is very different from sculpture pottery weaving beadwork textile design that tends to differ from tribe to tribe you know i mean there's there's basically a lot to see man um yeah so i'll take you to kano shortly in uh, the images that are running so that you even get to see the food there you know the 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 the, the, the suya that uh, these guys actually make the traditional lances that uh, the houses have uh, because of course you'll find that yoruba have their own they call it butter dance the Igbo will have their own traditional dance the houses will have their sharo dance man <sighs> then the cuisine look at the cuisine they are different foods you know from the yams the cassava the plantains the soups the very many different soups the jollof rice the ponded yam the goosey soup the suya the moi moi amen i mean i do miss nigeria a lot man i miss nigeria hey i'll be back soon ladies and gentlemen i'll be back soon we had fact number five so we go into fact number six in a short while fact number six welcome to lagos so this is lagos city one of the largest cities in africa and of course the largest city in nigeria <coughs> sorry so uh about lagos has a lot of facts man how many things are we gonna discuss about lagos so fact number six is that lagos is the most populated city in nigeria and of course it's one of the most populated cities in africa man it has a population of over 20 million people uh which is of course a population of a country like rwanda so it's definitely one of the biggest cities that is fact number six about nigeria man what else should i tell you about lagos of course it's the economic hub of nigeria and it used to be it's the former capital city that is before the capital city of nigeria was shifted to fct abuja so but they say abuja <laughs> so that is before it was moved and it's of course the port city of nigeria <coughs> yeah he's a port city of nigeria sorry about that uh, but of course that's fact number six fact number seven about nigeria or about lagos basically is that uh, we do have a lot of traffic jams in lagos so that is another fact about nigeria fact number seven and uh, what do these traffic jams do they actually um you know they, they are forced people in lagos to wake up very early for them to beat traffic so the, we are we are actually driving in lagos right now with the, my driver i'm in the cab and you know that is we are just moving around the city so this is my own original video guys <laughs> you know i don't use other people's videos i tend to use my videos most of the time so that i don't get flagged down for copyright and all that so at this point you're moving through the streets and you can see uh okay there's no ghost law traffic jam at this point but it normally is there so people normally wake up very early in lagos uh that's fact number seven fact number eight about nigeria is uh how do they travel so which is the main form of travel as you can see of course we are seeing a lot of cars on the road kekemaro <laughs> bus or bus you know depending on how they name it so basically uh the main form of transport is by road of course so by road they use um you'll see a lot of okada uh not many are here on this particular road that i'm driving right now but you can still see okada passing by so okada is the main uh, i mean road transport is the main so you can have okada you can have keke okada is the bike keke is the tuk-tuks 
so they call them keke or keke maro i don't know they, i am not able to pronounce that word really the right way as they use it and then of course there is the yellow bus the yellow bus is for lagos but of course as you move to every city they have their own uh, form of buses or their own color of the buses so every city has its own way but basically the main form of transport is by road of course there is railway not much though of course there are there are planes there are a lot of uh, airstrips and airports in every state so they use uh they they fly a lot as well but mainly it's by road so that's fact number eight fact number nine <coughs> sorry fact number nine is that you get to realize that uh, nigeria has actually very amazing very amazing tourist sites um from the zoos at least every city has a zoological garden you'll find kano zoological garden you know move to Ilorin, you'll find one you move to abuja you'll find one and you know there's zoological gardens everywhere so they're amazing sites to visit it's a uh, it's touristic let me just say that it's a touristic uh, it's a touristic kind of city uh, rather a uh, country so you'll always find a very uh, nice tourist tourist uh, areas to visit uh there's fact number eight about this uh, particular town or rather country sorry i don't want to diminish uh, to, to demean the country man yeah very very amazing tourist sites number nine it has um not just touristic places but amazing sites as well they're very amazing sites to visit like waterfalls like hills you know you get um for instance i happen to visit um uh one waterfall um in uh oshun state man e- ijesha waterfalls that place was pretty nice pretty very very beautiful so it has very nice um sites to visit you know from the waterfalls and then of course we've uh, nice places like the idandra hills very very amazing places to visit so um i really liked it and uh it was a very uh, you know it was a sight it was a nice sight to see uh so they're very amazing sites and then maybe number 10 uh another thing that we can mention is that um uh you know they have um they have uh, traditional leaders that uh you know run things in nigeria traditional leaders in this case i mean we've uh, kings some call them owa so we've uh, traditional leaders like kings chiefs you know that uh, are not uh, elected you know we've the elected leaders and then we have these other leaders so we have all these leaders that are running things so they have a lot of uh, traditional rulers so you'll have uh, emirs running the emirates in the north especially the muslim states and then of course you'll have uh, owas running the yoruba states <laughs> among others i mean like what we're looking at right now this is um this is uh, the idanra kingdom so we are looking at the older palace the ancient palace that was built you know over 800 years ago i mean it's it's way too old uh, that is where the king or the owa used to run the kingdom from but uh, of course uh, they've since moved to a modern building and all that uh, so uh traditional leadership is recognized in the in nigeria and even the government actually pays these traditional leaders uh, some money to help them run their kingdom so they get like a salary they're salaried they are recognized by the government yo guys so that's it that is uh, uh about all about what we had today for the uh 10 facts about nigeria how did you find the video Yo, my people, I do hope that you've enjoyed the video. I do hope that you've learned a few facts about Nigeria. And, um, you know, just comment, share, like. Let's grow the community. And uh, if you like such kind of videos, please comment so that next time I drop uh, more information, not just about Nigeria, facts about Kenya, facts about other places that I've visited as well. Yeah it's not just entertainment it's infotainment so we must get informed as we get entertained at the same time so till the next video okay bye bye